Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to trigger your camera flash with a TV remote. Now you probably already know the way to trigger a flash. There's a lot of different ways. The first way you learn is to just have it on your actual camera body on the hot shoe. And let me just take out the memory card really quick because I don't want any pictures on it. But anyways, you just put it on your hot shoe flash, you take a picture, and it goes off. Uh, after that, if you want to get your flash off camera, what you usually do is you use a PC sync cord. Basically, it's a sync cord that goes from your sync port to your flash. And then, from there, what, you, what most people do is they go to a set of wireless triggers, which has a a transmitter that goes on the hot shoe of your camera then you'll have a receiver that goes on your actual flash and then um and then when you take a a picture with your camera it sends a, a signal from a transmitter to, to the receiver now when you're on the job and stuff when in the middle of a shoot, sometimes what happens is things go wrong. You might forget your sync cable, your, your batteries in your, in your transmitter might die, or you might just not have an optical flash on your actual body because there's some cameras that don't, such as the, the Canon 6D, which is a camera I'm going to be upgrading to. So then you might want to know a way to trigger your flash with has an optical slave which is this little sensor right here what you could do is actually trigger it with the TV remote the first thing you want to do is set your camera to slave you should read in your manual it, sh it should tell you or just look it up online but anyways when you have it in slave mode you can just use any t t TV remote control to actually set it off <laughs> that's because the the optical slave on the on the flash it uses infrared light to be set off what most people think is uh, it, the, the optical slave is it, actually set off by the actual flash from their body such as cameras I don't know <laughs> what a lot of people think is it's only set by the the flash from this one but, but actually the thing that's setting it off is the actual infrared light c coming from here it's actually the part your eyes can't see and if you have a remote like a TV remote it th th throws off an infrared signal and that's a way to, to trigger your flash now you're probably wondering how you're gonna sync it well the thing with flash is that uh, it'll expose no matter what share speed you're using no matter if you're using two hundredth of a second or if you're using two seconds it'll basically expose at, at at any speed under your sync speed under your shutter sync speed I mean so as long as you stay under that you should be able to work it out and now you're wondering wh why you would want to use a remote well, well sometimes you place your flash in a spot where you can't hit the test button on, on the back so if you have it off into a corner you could be on, on your camera to set your chest speed set to like four seconds after a second just control the flash to go off and then after a while your shutter will close and you have a nicely exposed image if you set up your other settings correctly I mean but yeah hopefully that helped you your tips or comments leave them down below the optical slave on triggered by infrared light what they also sell is infrared <laughs> Sanders that you place in your hot shoe, you can buy some of those also. If you don't want your your onboard flash to to affect your exposure, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks. 